Welcome back. Seeing some clouds and seeing a little bit of blue sky as well. It's the first layer of weather day, so got you covered here yep. at sure Action did. News. In the meantime, big announcements for Apple this week with plans for um, all new notebook lineups with big technology. So just what does the announcement mean for consumers? Certified Apple expert Matthew Bookspan joins us this morning live via Skype. Good morning, Matthew. Good morning. Now, I need to clear something up. A, a lot of people had heard yesterday during the, the announcement that the iPhone 5 was going to be coming out in September. Do you know if that's true or not? I don't know if that's true. I, mean, I get, My own personal conjecture is because last year they released the 4S around that time that we could probably expect it. Um, but I don't have any specific information from Apple to tell me so. Okay, okay. so what are the new products that came out? So I think probably the biggest new announcement was the next generation MacBook Pro. It has a beautiful retina display. So the previous, the previous MacBook Pro, which is a wonderful computer, had a resolution of what they call 1440 by 900. And the new retina display is double that. So it's 2880 by 1800. And what does that mean to regular folks? Well, that's double the pixel depth of a high definition television. Okay. So it's just an astounding, astounding picture quality there on your screen. What other new uh, products did they unveil, or what, what is, what is, what's the thing that's got you most excited? Well, I think, well, the MacBook Pro got me really excited for a lot of our customers, and I think the other big thing was the announcement of iOS 6, and iOS 6 is the next generation operating system for the iPhone and the iPad, and there they announced their all-new Maps application, which replaces Google Maps, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful application. It now supports turn-by-turn -turn directions. Um, Apple actually partnered with Oh, geez, what is the name of the company now? I'm blanking. It, it'll come back to me. Uh, okay. Regardless, so they, they, they partnered with another company to provide the turn-by-turn -turn directions. Um, they also have a new flyover capability, which is a really beautiful 3D effect. So if you want to look at different cities, different towns, you have a lovely, rich information when viewing your maps. They also have, I think, another really big feature, especially for business travelers, is Passbook. And Passbook provides you the ability to store all of your flight information, your receipts, any type of partner programs. All this will be stored on your phone, so you no longer have to carry all this paperwork with you. You can just take your phone up to the scanner um, when you're at an airport, and for example, and show them the phone. And then from there, it just scans the information, and you're ready to walk through the gate. So um, it's it's I really simplifying the process. That's it, it's great. incredible. I, I'm just waiting for the day they can't make things better it's just it seems like every year you got to have something new i mean it's just unbelievable the advances oh it's, it's wonderful i think customers will be really delighted especially business customers because of this new flexibility folks who travel uh the other actually nice thing that we heard is that siri which is currently available only on the iphone 4s will also soon be available for the ipad when it uh when ios 6 launches so that's another big win for customers to be able to use that technology with their devices all right, All right Matthew, good. thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. And for more information, go to actionnewsjax.com, click on the action button. Now